Hi, I'm John Ed Matheson. One of the great places here in Montgomery was the old Montgomery Athletic Club. Mike Colon opened it, had a lot of racquetball courts, a lot of workout rooms. I was always fascinated by these weightlifters. You know, when they come in, they always wear shirts that are too small for them, and they stand in front of the mirror and have to, you know, flex their muscles and do all of that. And one day, a businessman, Jack Noble and myself, and a couple of others were standing there, and, and this weightlifter came in, and, you know, they were real particular about their weight and had these doctor scales, you know, the ones that you have to just tap to get you exact weighted. And this weightlifter stepped up on the scale and he didn't notice that his buddy right behind him put his toe on the scale. And when he looked at it, he started tapping and he actually had gained 10 pounds according to the scale because of the toe on the back of the scale. Well, the man was frustrated and he got off. He said, well, it must be the humidity or I must be retaining fluids or something. And all of a sudden, the devil got into me and I just looked at him and I said, friend, I'm a pastor. I'm taking a course on praying off weight. Could I try that with you? And you know, weightlifters are not the smartest guys anyway. And he said, yeah, well, hey, uh, do it. Would you do it? I said, sure. So I put my hands up on his shoulders and told him to bow his head. And I said, weight me off. But by this time, we'd gathered quite a crowd there and they were watching. I said, now step back up on that scale. Well, when he stepped back up, and then it was 10 pounds off, he started tapping it back down to his real weight. And he said, you prayed 10 pounds off me. I don't know the guy standing there said, D do you do that? How much does it cost? <laughs> and I just had to say, look, hey, this was fun, but I can't pray weight off. The way you get weight off is through discipline and the way you exercise and the way you eat. There's no easy things in life. Trust God and He can give you the best help that you can have.